Let me start by saying I have no problem with the Junker Queen's in-game kit. I have not played Overwatch 2 in quite a while because my Windows 95 computer has not been able to handle it too well recently. But from what I have played, I think her kit is fun to play with and fair to play against. Most of my problems with the Junker Queen is how she is handled narratively. The order in which I list my issues are in no particular order. First, I don't really like the fourth wall breaking. Whenever she does speak to the camera, it just kind of breaks the immersion for me. It always just comes off as exposition or just stating the obvious. King Howell has never lost, not in 13 years of rule. This meathead has a bigger magnet? In my opinion, it brings her entire cinematic down. Next, I don't like her hero name just being the Junker Queen. It's a similar problem I have with Hammond. I understand why they are called Junker Queen and Wrecking Ball. It's the same as Hannah's hero name being Diva. The issue is, unlike the name Diva, Junker Queen and Wrecking Ball are just stupid names in my opinion. Her real name, Odessa, would have been a great hero name. Or even her last name would have been cool. Stone. Or I guess we can even call her these. <laughs> I'm also pretty confused on her stance on killing. Let's do some research and see what we can find. <laughs> Okay, so she's against killing. I mean, if she spared the guy who literally threw her entire family out into the desert to starve to death, then she must really value all life. I could have run Overwatch much better than you. And what would you have done differently? I would have caught all the bad guys, then cut their heads off. <sighs> I can understand her sparing Geiger and Mary because she wanted to use their skills for herself. That's an interesting character trait in my opinion, but I just don't understand why she let Mason live. Now, I'm not stupid. Overwatch has a majority of young players, so they couldn't have her put an axe through his face. But still, it just creates a large character inconsistency. I don't like where her intelligence stands. Some of her voice lines just paint her as a taller female junk rat. I fought a bunch of you bastions once. You all had wheels and big sharp teeth. <coughs> On second thought, that might have been a dream I had. Doctor, have I really got to eat vegetables? It's like crunch, crunch, crunch. How long have I got to chew these? Do I know what I think would have been a good idea to make her more intimidating? If she was smart. Like, as smart as these guys. If she was both ruthless and super calculated, that would make for a terrifying character. A little bit like the Batman who laughs. A character who mixes the Joker's insanity with Batman's knowledge. I think intelligence would complement her magnetic powers really well too. But instead, we just get taller junk rat. Finally, and most petty of all, I don't like her theme song, but that's just a me problem. Now, I want to talk about what I do like about the Junker Queen. I love her design. Her body is a great shape. It's always nice when female characters get to be more diverse like the male ones. Lots of fantasies fall into the trap of doing the opposite. But I think Overwatch is good with their female heroes. I also like her hair and cosmetics. It fits right into the futuristic Overwatch setting, while also being punk and unique. Her omnic shoulder and knee pads are probably my favorite part about her. I'm a little conflicted on her open belly. I feel like she should be protecting more of her body. And that's all I have to say about the Junker Queen. Remember, these are my own thoughts, and I could acknowledge myself that they are super petty. If you disagree with me, let's respectfully argue in the comments. I might do some more mini essay videos on this channel where I give my opinions on random things. Leave a comment if you think you'd be interested in that. But that's the end of today's video, and outros are hard.